Tuesday, February 15, 2022. I'm Dave Landers. Mark Vince. Go. Well, peace out. I'm fairly hard yesterday. Did recover close off the worst lows. We're still down. Nonetheless, as you can see, well below their 200 day moving average. In fact, a little bit of a Landry light, high, less than the moving average. There, nothing magical about that, but as you can see, that plus a 50 simple moving, moving average, you tried to say, can't help to keep you on the right side of the market. Futures are up big pre market. Unfortunately, that might just be a shorting opportunity. I wouldn't get too excited just yet. Take a look at NASDAQ. As you can see, a little weakness there, but flat swell by the end of the day. As you can see, the moving averages come together. Could have a dark house really soon. No big deal should that occur, but it's what happens once you get some sort of sell signal, be it, be it Landry Light, bow ties down to the downside, TFM 10% system, et cetera. Bad things tend to happen, kind of borrowing a line from Gayard, when you get below these moving averages and when you have sell signals. Rusty, not looking too good. Downtrend attack, let's poise continue. Low. Most areas look like the Rusty itself, biotech, drugs, health services, list goes on. You know what? About the only thing looking pretty good in here is the energy. So we could see some setups here on a pullback. So what do we do? Well, unfortunately, I think this bounce could be a shorting opportunity. Of course, if it just keeps going straight up, then we'll look to get long. But for now, the short side looks like the side to play. Any questions? As usual, Dave, I'm Dave Landry.